HP has an interesting new Chromebook coming out that's detachable and has all kinds of cool tricks up its sleeve. It's called the X211. And while we're super excited about that device just for all its little tricks and things that it can do, it's actually going to be coming with two pieces of software that HP is kind of advertising along with it. It's Google's new cursive handwriting app, which we cannot figure out a way to actually get working. Uh, it's supposed to ship whenever the HP X211 shows up. But then there's this other one that HP has been talking about, and it's called their Quick Drop service. And we thought maybe that one was going to be tied to this Chromebook as well, but it turns out you can use it on a Chromebook right now, and we want to show it to you. Okay, before we dive in and actually take a look at this whole thing, HP's Quick Drop is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's a way to move files from one device to another. It uh, mimics Apple's AirDrop and Android's built-in nearby share, but it does it with a dedicated app, both for your phone and for your Chromebook. And so that's kind of a cool thing here, is that you get to go and search HP Quick Drop Chrome. You can just search HP Quick Drop actually from your Chromebook and you get to install a PWA from the web store, so HP's already done all their homework there. Uh, and when you open it up, again, you're not gonna get an Android app, you're gonna get a PWA. So once you launch the app, you can see that there's a QR code here, and in the Android app over here, it says I can scan the QR code. I'm gonna click that, I'll scan that code, and just like that, we'll get a confirmation saying, is this, is this it? Yep, that same code, yes, I would like to continue. And that's it really for the pairing process. At this point, you're ready to start moving files from either device to either device. And what's really cool about this entire thing is that this PWA is set up, it, it looks great on the desktop, and you can drag and drop files into this. So I'm just gonna show you exactly what that looks like. I'm gonna grab a featured image uh, that I've just worked on for the podcast, I'm just grab it, I'm gonna drag it in here, you get a nice little animation. I drag it and boom, you see it over here immediately. Um, we'll rate you later. I am enjoying using this though. I'm glad that popped up because this is actually a really awesome service. And so same goes here. If I say I'm gonna attach something and I wanna drop it over to the Chromebook, I'm gonna click this here. And just, just like that, boom, it's over here. Um, I'm not really sure exactly at this point which Wi-Fi type this is using. I don't know if it's using Wi-Fi Direct. I don't know if it's using uh, Bluetooth or uh, my guess is it's just sending things through a server, likely HP server maybe. Uh, we're, we're unclear on that exactly, but uh, the quickness with which it moves files. I moved a file the other day that was a gig. I had a gig zip file and it moved in just a few minutes. Um, I can pick, um, it's, let's see, that's a, there's a, there's an eight, eight uh, meg image there and you can see how quickly boom it's already there I already transferred already here and then once I have it on either device uh, you can do a few things I can click this button here and kind of export that um, to my local machine and pull it in here because it's just going to kind of keep it here until I've decided what I want to do with it once I'm done and I've decided that you know I'm I'm kind of uh, good to go on on all this stuff I can I can detach from the device I can clear this whole thing so I can go down here and clear all the items from my feed and kind of start over with all this. Um, so let me go back to my feed here and everything's clean and ready to go. I can do the same thing over here. I can click here and I can click uh, clear the feed. Yep, we're gonna clear it out. And then there's nothing there and it's ready to transfer. I can uh, take images on my phone. So if I grab here and I just snap a photo, click check, boom, it's right there on my Chromebook. Um, and so, like this is really cool. There's an additional thing you can send messages. Um, I'm not sure. I guess if you sent a bunch of stuff and you wanted to kind of leave yourself a note, maybe you can see those messages pop up almost immediately, uh, and you can send them right back. Let's say hello, and immediately it's over there. So I'm guessing if you're sending multiple files and you need to jot a note or something between those, so you can kind of see what needs to go where. But that's really it. I mean, it's it is simple. It is straightforward and it does what it's set up to do incredibly well. There is one little quirk here and you can see on the phone it says that this is an HP Chromebook. Uh, clearly this is not an HP Chromebook. This is the uh, Asus CX-9 and the app doesn't actually pull the device to see what its name is and I don't have any option to rename it. Uh, my guess is they just assume that they're going to market this internally and that if you're using this you're probably on an HP Chromebook and maybe that's a fair assumption but What's really cool is the fact that this works on all Chromebooks because 
At the end of the day, Chrome OS is Chrome OS always. It doesn't matter what Chromebook you are using. And so while HP could lock this down eventually, and you may not be able to go get this app, or it may not work technically for other Chromebooks, like they could technically do that if they chose to. Right now it's a PWA. So man, you can just go to the, the URL where this app lives and use it. You can use it um, from the Play Store, but it's gonna work across basically any Chromebook. And you can use it right now. It works really, really well but guys that's it for this one if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up head down there and hit that subscribe button and be sure and ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one until next time we'll see you